Oh, they were so sweet on my painting. Oh. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Yegor here and right now I'm walking on the pedestrian street that is called Tianmen. This pedestrian street is one of the most famous ones in China and you can track its history back to Ming Dynasty because it was like a commercial center back in the day. But we're not going to talk about history in this episode. We're going the futuristic way. The exhibition we will see today is called A Dream Journey Through Panorama of Rivers and Mountains. It's a cooperation project by Gongyan Oriental Art, Phoenix Digital Technology and Mojiri. And it's a tribute to the Beijing Central Axis, which will be part of China's 2024 UNESCO World Heritage Site application project. So before we start, I want to tell you a little bit about the history of this painting because this whole digital exhibition was inspired by it. The name of it is the Panorama of Rivers and Mountains. It was created in Song Dynasty and for Chinese art history, it's as important as paintings like Starry Night or The Last Supper. And do you remember in 2008 for Beijing Olympics, there was like a scroll that opened up. The painting on there was actually this painting. Actually, they're using the colors from the painting and they put it on the clothes and it feels like whoa look at that movement over there it was like a matrix dodging the blue so the man you see on the stage is Wang Xingmeng he is the painter from the ancient times he was ordered by the emperor to draw this picture when he was just only 18 years old. Can you imagine how talented he was? It's just incredible. Tianguo以来，这个千里江山图啊，只展示过三次。因为这幅图卷呢，它是一个画作，已经有将近一千年的历史。每展一次的时候，它的色彩都会脱落一份。因为对光的那个，哎，对光，包括你展卷的时候，它上面的矿物原料会脱落。嗯，通过这个作品呢，我们很好的展现了中国文化瑰宝的风采和魅力。After visiting that digital exhibition, just fell in love with this painting, panorama of rivers and mountains. That's why I want to take it home. But there's actually a way to take it home because here there is a workshop where you can paint your rivers and mountains like this. So guys, right now I'm really, really inspired because right now is a fall season and I'm in love with fall. So I want to turn these mountains into an autumn kind of scenery. So let's get to work. Okay guys, I'm almost ready. Almost. Okay guys, I think I'm about to finish my picture. The last detail, I just need a moon, so one, two. We got a moon. You can see the color is also a lot. Is this word based on your own thoughts, or do you try to follow your own thoughts? Just follow my heart. Follow your heart. Follow your heart is, is the right thing. Did you like the exhibition? Yeah, of course. What was, what was your favorite part? Yeah, that's my favorite, and uh, I think the, the people's in the picture is very impressive. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was impressed by the light, even on the ground. Yeah. And I was seeing um, the projection on the wall. Yeah. So that's like projection on the ground. Guys, it was just so incredible to see so much technology used to bring the painting to life, and how they use creative dancing to tell the story behind this painting. It's not just a painting somewhere in the museum, 
but it's so much closer to our lives. Guys, that's it for now, and I'll see you on our next episode of On Sight. See you there.